Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to Wizardry Workshop. Today we're going to be fixing the big problem with this book. This is the Harry Potter film wizardry book and it has a whole bunch of really cool information, really cool stuff in here. But if you're wondering what the big problem is with this, at least my big problem with it, it's that the replicas that are in here are pretty cool, but they are like, you can't take them out. They're permanently in there. So today we're going to take them out without doing any type of serious damage to the book or anything like that. Hopefully, um, this is all theory. I haven't done this yet, so hopefully I don't destroy my book. But the idea is, let's just grab one of these cool replicas. There's a whole bunch of stuff. We've got like all this stuff. Here's the advanced potion making book. This is actually, I'm gonna keep this in here because it's just full of uh, potion stickers and stuff. This book is amazing. Uh, if you do want it, there's going to be an uh, Amazon link down below, so go ahead and use that link if you would like to support my channel. I don't get any, um, you don't have to pay any extra money for it, I just get commission for whenever I drive sales to Amazon. So use my links. And some of them are in this, like, envelope, just like this Marauder's Map, and you can take it out, and it's like a prop you can have. And I wish they had just done the envelope approach to everything in here, but unfortunately most of them are glued in. So let's do this Borgen and Burks one, actually. So as you can see, it's, it's glued right in there. This page actually opens up a bit more, but most of them don't. But it is glued right in there. There's a little piece of paper that is like printed just like a little bit of this page and a little bit of the, the catalog, and then it's just glued in right there so that you can't take it out. And I understand, like, keeping it nice in the book. If you don't want to do this, you don't have to, but I, I really want to take these replicas out and display them somewhere. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'm going to put this, I got like a thick uh, cardboard shipping envelope. I'm going to put that down below so that I don't cut past and into my book as I do this. If you have like a, a smaller cutting mat or something, you could put that in between the pages instead. And I'm going to use a metal ruler and an X-Acto knife. And we are just going to cut right along the middle of this little strip of paper that's holding it into the book. You don't want to cut really deep. You just want to very lightly cut. And we're trying our best to not actually damage the page. I'm gonna go another, there we go. And then we're just gonna test it and see if it comes out. It doesn't look like it's coming out just yet. Maybe try and go a little bit harder, but I don't wanna cut my catalog or my book. I just wanna cut, okay, it's kind of gone through right there. So I guess I can sort of get underneath of it and just cut right here. I don't want to tear it and I don't want to tear my book either. So I'm just trying to do this as carefully as possible. And obviously be mindful of your fingers. You can try and go in from the other side too. There we go. Okay, now it's coming loose right there. It's actually easier to cut this way and away from yourself like this. There. So now we've gotten this out, but it doesn't look very good. Um, the page has a little bit of stuff on it right here, so that doesn't look that great. The catalog itself also has some uh, excess paper right here, so we're going to try and get that off as well without like tearing or damaging it. And to do that, I have this heat gun. And I'm gonna try heating up the glue and then peeling it off and hopefully we can just be done and that's all we have to do. Um, like I said, I haven't actually tested this out but in theory it should work. Okay, here we go. Let's see. Can I peel that off of there? 
Not quite yet. It does feel like it's it's trying to come off of there, but not quite yet. Yes. Yes, it is coming off of there, but it needs it needs to get hotter. And I'm starting to, this is getting a little too hot to touch, so you might want to wear some gloves or something when you do this. And you can even get in underneath there. You're not wanting to cut, you're just wanting to get this to help you start peeling with your blade. You don't want to cut anything, but just kind of use it to start getting it to peel off. Not sure, this doesn't really feel like it's working well. It definitely is starting to peel that corner off right there, but it looks like it is, it is not getting hot enough or something because if you look at this, it is peeling some of the uh, black ink off of this right there. So the other option would be just to keep this strip on here and maybe take off as much of the, the white peeled part as possible and maybe even color it with a black marker or something. Ow, shoot, that is hot. Oh, it's working, here we go, it is working. Yeah. Oh man, it's caught some of the paper down here. I really wanted to avoid this. Well, that just tore right off of there. Um, I think most of this is actually this part. So I don't think that I tore a whole lot of the pamphlet itself. Now there's just this little strip right here, this white strip down the side that is also glued on. So I'm gonna have to heat it up some more and get that off. Yep, what works best here is getting it really hot and then using a little uh, razor blade to sort of s gently scrape the glue off. And do it little by little and um, try and get your blade over here as quickly as possible because the glue immediately starts to dry and then it becomes difficult to take off. Okay, so so far it looks like this. I did tear it in some places. I may have just not gotten it hot enough and that's why that happened. So if you plan to try this, make sure you get it so hot you can barely barely touch it with your fingertips um, and use a razor blade to get underneath the uh, adhesive. But I can fix this. If you do tear yours or get little white nicks in it like that, I believe I'm gonna try this using Distress Ink. This is black soot. And as you can see, I just got some on my thumb. But yeah, we're gonna try just using some Distress Ink to cover that up and see how that looks. All right, that actually did work pretty well. If you take a look at it, you can barely even tell that these parts were nicked. And I mean, no one's gonna notice that. Um, so just wait for that to dry and you are good to go. You've got your uh, Borgen and Burks catalog out of that book. Now, as for the book itself, if you really don't want this kind of torn piece right in there, all you really need to do is, I mean, the same thing that uh, we just did. You're gonna heat it up and you're gonna peel it away. But honestly, I don't mind having a tiny little bit of that in there. That doesn't, it's it's fine. Totally readable still. That took me about a half hour to, to kind of carefully cut that out, take off the glue and then cover up the little white splotches on there. Just about 30 minutes. So probably a similar amount of time for everything else. and. There's a few things in there you're looking at a few hours probably to get all of the little replicas out of there, but hey, it's worth it. This is pretty cool and I'm glad that I was able to separate them finally. That's it guys, it was a pretty easy, simple video, but I have been wanting to take these out of this book for a long time. 
Um, so I'm glad that that worked out and I hope that helps you guys because I, I know a lot of you are wanting to get these out of there too. I mean, let's be, let's be honest. It's a good read, but really the only reason or the main reason people buy these books are for the replicas that are inside. So I hope that helped you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one.